What do we got here, Fiona? We have a Via Artigo Builder Kit. Basically what you get is a little PC case. You can see here that is so a builder kit. It's kind of like one of those electronic kits. You get to get you get the whole all yeah. the parts, you put it all together. It's a project, right? Yes, you can look at it like that, definitely. So you get the the chassis, which is custom designed to fit in one of their EPIA PX motherboards, which is a Pico ITX form factor. Right. So if you think of you know like a regular PC is um, ATX. Yep. Um, well, okay, about that big. <laughs> and then there's. Mini ITX, which is also by Via, that's um, 17 by 17 centimetres. Mm -hmm. This motherboard is just that section there, and it is 10 by 7.2 centimetres. So this centimeters. whole unit is about the same size as a DVD drive. Yes, that is correct. Uh, across the front, well, if you have a look here, it's exactly the same size as a DVD drive across the front there, but it's only about a half depth, so obviously it won't fit its DVD or CD-ROM in there. Where's my right. DVD? How am I getting my data on there? What's going on there? Yeah, look, there are some sort of drawbacks to this system. Um, you could have a, an external USB. Well, on the front we've got four USB ports, so we can have yeah. a USB DVD, Blu-ray drive or whatever. Well, oh, you could, but, okay, not Blu-ray. This isn't designed as a multimedia Playback oh, okay. system. But it's, a full, just, it's a full PC, right? It is, but it wouldn't be powerful enough for that. Okay. Yeah. So, so, not enough graphics power, CPU power for both. Yeah. A high def playback. Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, what about what other applications we use this for? Let's kind of talk about. I mean, I personally, this product would be the perfect case mod product. Put it in the back of a Humvee um, four-wheel drive. Yeah, car. in the tray. Yeah. In the tray there, in the back of it. You know, you have a, you know you have all the ports sticking out the back of the the Humvee car for your kid to have it sitting on his desk. Yep. Uh, a doll's house. Um, spray paint it pink, I guess, and and put it in a Barbie house and have you know a Barbie house or a door van. <laughs> put it inside the back of a door van for your kid's PC. Yeah. So I mean, it does have a, a um, VGA port on the back, also LAN. Um, that's for the, the power. It does have a built-in power board right. that, well, actually, you have to install it yourself into the, the chassis. But um, and then it has an, an, an adapter. external an external power supply. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but it is actually designed to fit into a drive bay. So you have it in a regular desktop tower case. So you have it as a case. backup PC within yeah. an existing computer tower case, yeah. right? So you, can, so you get this kit, put it all together, install it in there, put your, your hard, so it requires a laptop hard drive, right? Yes, that's correct. So uh, about 250 gig hard drives you can get now, laptops, and maybe a little bit bigger. Um, yeah. They're the same speed nowadays as far as standard hard drives, you know, as far as generic stuff is concerned. Yeah. So, um, so it speed, hard drive speed not going to be an issue. Okay, but it's not SATA, that's one thing. It is right. a part of ha parallel ATA, which is the older, slightly slower right, standard. Right, okay. You can, apparently you can, there are pin headers on there that you can um, use a SATA drive, but it's external to the case. Right. Um, just because of where the connectors are. So, okay. Yeah. So for the, the motherboard itself does support SATA, but yes, the that's correct. design... It's yeah, the design for the actual kit itself Parter, has sorry. to be a, a, a part of hard drive. Okay. Um, the other thing you need to get is low profile RAM, so it supports up to one gig um, so so sodium. sodium. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, that's not, not very expensive these days. Right. Anyway. So you can put a couple of gig of RAM in there, one or two uh, No, one is the maximum. Okay, so one gig of RAM, yep. it supports. So you're definitely looking at, I mean, Linux would probably be even better. Right. Um, otherwise, Windows XP, Vista, mm -hmm. you should shy away from it. Wouldn't, well, wouldn't. Yeah, Vista base with everything turned off, but still Windows XP no. would run a lot faster. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So I, I think that this is um, a great sort of holiday project. Uh, it costs $320 for the kit, mm -hmm. and on top of that you need to get the hard drive and the RAM. So the argument is there that yes, there are um, cheaper solutions as a backup type system if you were using this like a network attached storage, but it's not as fun to get a NAS, is it? No. Well, a na NAS system and NAS, all it can do is, is data backup. Yes. This you can actually use as a proper piece. Yes, you can. Um, it comes with a really great set of instructions. I mean. Is really, it, really exceptional is it the way they lay it out. Than IKEA furniture instructions. It is. I think that the actual building <laughs> of it is more difficult than putting together a, an, I, an IKEA piece of furniture. Right. But the instructions, yes, they're much clearer than an IKEA right. piece of furniture. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. look really good, actually. The yeah. breakdown of the system there is looks like it's going to be really easy to follow. Yeah. So this is you know somebody who's 
never built a PC before could actually follow these instructions with ease and put this together They could actually, they could. Give yep. you good basics on, on computing. You know, if you, if you have a kid who is interested in computers and all but never actually built something themselves, yeah, this would be a perfect be little project. Absolutely. Even yeah. as a second PC in the kitchen or something like that, you know, yeah. just put all your recipes on there and just MSN and all that stuff on your thing. Wouldn't take up a lot of room and you could have it basically sitting on the base of an LCD. Yeah, yeah. It'd be perfect. So, I mean, it, it does have a lot of fun uses, I think, the VR Artigo Builder Kit. Yeah, definitely a fun project for the holidays. Yeah.